the other thing to discuss as a potential cause behind all this is um, allergies. So, um, as dogs get older, uh, they can develop allergies, and these allergies can be of any kind, uh, whether it be an allergy to chicken or an allergy to grain. When dogs have allergic reactions, we can see it either as itching and scratching or vomiting, diarrhea, and gastrointestinal signs. Something I tend to um, recommend in dogs, particularly if this blood test comes back as negative, and let's say our fecal sample is negative, right. um, then our steps would be the ultrasound, to have a look for anything abnormal. I presume yeah. that would be hugely expensive. So that is um, about, off the top of my head, no, no need to look it up, about okay. £260 okay. for that test. Okay. Um, now, the diet is um, something called a hypoallergenic diet. So when a dog is reactive to a certain type of protein, let's say chicken, as an example, when we eat chicken, the body will react to it. In the same way if someone is allergic to peanuts, eats a peanut, the body will react. What they do is they take salmon protein, which is one of the least common allergens, and they break it down into smaller constituents, so it's hydrolyzed, basically. And then it's broken down into amino acids. Amino acids are basically what the building blocks of proteins. They're much, much less likely to set off allergic reactions, and so these hypoallergenic diets tend to be quite good for patients with food hypersensitivities. That is something I'd consider in the future. I don't think we need to address it now, um, because I think there may be a different underlying cause. I, I suspect so. I, I can't believe it would be a sudden diet mm, issue, no, right. given it's, the blood that came yeah, out in, exactly, in the first instance. Exactly. It's, it's, it's unlikely, but it's not impossible. Okay, okay. Um, allergies can develop overnight. Right. You know, you can be absolutely fine eating peanuts your whole life, and then yeah. one day you wake up, have a peanut, severe anaphylaxis. It's the same with dogs. Allergies can develop as time goes by, and it might be that we're showing some allergic signs, and that might be why we're having some tummy upsets. Oh, okay. But I think with the blood and the inappetence, it's more leaning towards something else, which is why we're going down the ACTH simulation route, plus or minus the fecal, plus or minus the abdominal ultrasound. Right. Um, but it's certainly so worth then, keeping in the back of your mind. Oh, for I sure. I, I've, I've had nightmares already, so, yeah. you know, I've had other dogs, so I'm, I'll cry, but we've got to do what we've got to do. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you for that. I no appreciate worries. that very much. Um, so ultimately, if nothing is improving over the weekend uh, and after we've had results back then, uh, the next step would be potentially an ultrasound. Yes. Right, so just so I know where we're, where we're heading here. Yeah. So, so far, we've we pretty much done whatever we could do. Exactly. We've, we've done the Once I get some fecal. Exactly. And, uh, you know, I'd say out of all of the tests, the faecal test is um, probably one of the least important ones to do. Oh, okay. um, this one seems very important based on what I've seen on... Yes. So Addison. Addison's is quite a... Um, Can be a killer. Yeah, yeah right. it's quite a dangerous condition. But um, he hasn't completely collapsed with it, has no, he? Which is no. what I saw on some videos. Yes. So uh, with Addison's, you either have a, typical or atypical. Atypical, atypical, but you also have what's called an Addisonian crisis. Yes, that was. Um, an that was Addisonian it. crisis is an emergency. Right. Um, we don't. We're not really an Addisonian. We're not seeing crisis that. We're not seeing that yet, right. but we might get into that sort of stage. Okay. If you do have concerns over the weekend, we're open twenty-four hours. There's always someone here. Thank you. Um, but I think we'll see what the ACTH simulation test says, and we'll go from there. And it will take me days to get these samples anyway, exactly. so um, exactly. obviously as soon as I get them, straight back in yes. with it. Right. Yeah, straight in, and then right. we, can, we can get it sent off. But I, I should be expecting a phone call regarding the result of this in due course. Yeah, in due course. It will either be late tomorrow or um, Monday. Right. So we'll try and get it to you. If, if it comes back. Yeah, he seems, even though he's not eating, he seems to be in slow decline at the moment, so I think we should be good for that. Perfect. All I right. am very grateful. Thank you no very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Please. Okay, cheerio. Oh, just wait, wait, wait. 
Uh, we're back in the car, aren't we? Good boy. Good dog. Flipping amazing dog. Take what comes. Absolutely amazing dog. The Prevo Max is the anti sickness uh, jab. And today's total, today's total is that. There's only so far you can go lashing out money like this. It's heartbreaking, isn't it? Huge amount of money going into you there, Barry. Got no choice, have I? Got no choice at all, mate. Right, we shall be going home. is covered in pheasants. I can see two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, lost count. Covered in pheasants.
right in the rear. We are home, mate. We are home. It's uh, bath time. In the screen, there we go. It was a nice, easy drive back.